Um, we've gotten a lot of, of uh, comments where patients have said, hey, I want to learn more about uh, two peptides in particular, uh, tesafensin and semaglutide. So I've, I've created a little slides uh, slideshow for you guys. And so I'll share it with you. If you just want to listen and you're an auditory learner, then you won't need the slides at all. So this is a, a image of my, my teacher. And this is Dr. Chieko Mayakawa, and she's now at 84, just an amazing human being. And one of the things that she taught me, she said, the greatest sin you can ever commit <laughs> to your body is overeating. And so, uh, so how do we stop overeating? And, and uh, Andy, kid, any thoughts on Dr. Mayakawa's um, kind of profound declaration that overeating is the greatest sin you can place on your body? Well, it puts so much strain on everything. You know, it's putting strain on your gut. It's putting strain on your joints. It's putting strain on your your heart. It's it's and you know, and particularly um, you know, if you carry excess weight for a, a period of time, you know, it's yeah, yeah. And it's I, I think um, you nail it there, and you just create a lot of uh, extra work for your body. Um, over yeah. you feel your digestive system gets overloaded um your blood sugar is usually going to spike and you're just creating this uh profound inflammatory response throughout the like your your whole system um i the i am in in many cases reagan has witnessed me sinning <laughs> by, by overeating i i uh that's one thing where um I, I, I have to really work on that because I, I love food and I can, I can uh, bring it on. But yeah, there's certain times where I realize I'll, I'll go over and you just feel really crummy. And yeah, you really look at when your body feels crummy, you know, like there's some real damage going on internally because, um, you know, our, we can have damage going on internally and have zero symptoms. And so once you, you start to realize those symptoms, you know, there's a lot going on. Mm. Yeah. And also the emotional side too. And, you know, I can only speak from my perspective as a woman, but I know that, you know, women, you know, we, we tend to give ourselves a really hard time around self-image and, you know, if we're carrying weight, it, it has a really emotional effect too. Oh, big time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then there's the guilt of overeating, you know, and the, you're just mm. like, why did I do that? I feel so crappy. And then you're in, tr in bed trying to sleep and your gut's full and you're just like, that was the stupidest. And so, so really, I think, uh, you know, and Dr. Maya Cow, there's so many uh, like pieces of wisdom that I've learned uh, from her over the years, but you know, that one stands out because I remember one day she's, she's got a dentist in her office and the dentist is like, you know, he's about ready to have a heart attack and, she checks his blood pressure and she's like, all right, Dr. Peterson, you come over here. And she like calls him over. He has to stand up off the table. He's in his underwear only. And she starts berating him. She's like, you've been overeating, right? Tell me you've been overeating. And he's like, yes, I confess I've been overeating. I mean, it was a massive interrogation. And you can see he's getting a, you know, a little bit nervous about it. And then she says, that is the greatest sin you can ever place on your body. You stop right now or I will not accept you as a patient. And he says, okay, I'll stop. And uh, sure enough, he like cleaned up. And within three months, he, it was 30 pounds lighter. His blood pressure normalized and she literally saved him from an impending stroke or heart attack. I mean, uh, so, so I think it's something that we need to get a little more serious about. And one of the things that we like to do, we take a little more gentle approach <laughs> Uh, in our in our influence and, and persuasion, but uh, we also like to bring in biohacks. And semaglutide is one of these peptides. It's a GLP-1 agonist. And from what I've found in the patients who have used this and in the, the literature, is that this is one of the things that you can use, one of the peptides you can use to actually get rid of that desire to overeat because one of the things it does is it delays gastric emptying. And so you're not going to be, uh, you're going to be satiated quicker and then you're not going to get hungry as fast. And so it's a great way to kind of help backfill if patients have, you know, if there's emotional eating, which usually comes along when we overeat, there's an emotional component we're trying to feel. 
And so uh, the beautiful thing about semaglutide is it gives you a chance to work with Andy or Jenny or some of our, our team members here and actually start addressing those emotional side, the emotional side of things without constantly going into guilt and shame and guilt and shame and repeating the behavior over and over again. And, and so beautiful thing about this peptide is it is FDA approved um, for weight loss. And in the studies, they found that people who used semaglutide, uh, the, the study went for about 68 weeks, but they found that they lost uh, a very comparable amount of weight as did people who did bariatric surgery, which is far more invasive. And so the way that this works is through the central and peripheral nervous systems in the central nervous system. And there's a lot of debate about, is it primarily central or is it more uh, peripheral? Well, the, the primary mechanism is probably in the hypothalamus and pituitary because it it keeps ghrelin from being excreted. And ghrelin is that hormone that makes us hungry. It's the one that makes your stomach growl. And so um, it stops that ghrelin response. And then the other thing it does on the peripheral nerves is it works on the vagus nerve. So it can reduce your appetite. And also that's where you get that delaying of the gastric emptying. So you feel fuller longer and you have more uh, you, you get satiated quicker. So, um, so it's kind of interesting. These GLP ones are uh, a future class of peptides that you'll see that, you know, we've just scratched the surface and you'll start to see that not only are these going to be uh, more prolific in the future, but um, studies have found that they improve, uh, they, they calm neural inflammation. So in, in, an inflamed brain, they help promote nerve growth. They improve heart function they suppress the appetite, they regulate blood lipid metabolism and reduce fat deposition. So there, it's just an amazing peptide and the applications are just barely getting started. And so, so semaglutide and, and uh, Andy, I know you, 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 uh, you actually said you'd talk about this, so I'm not. You yeah. Know. Yeah. No, no. Hey, my life's an open book. Um, <laughs> yeah. When I went to visit my family, for two and a half months earlier in the year, I was in holiday mode for two and a half months, which meant I was having treats for two and a half months. And I know better than that, but you know, it was just, I kind of slipped into this behavior. And over that time period, I put on 10 pounds and I didn't realize till I got back because I'm not weighing myself, I'm, I'm on holiday, you know? So, um, and then, you know, I started working at the Salt Lake Clinic and, I went on semaglutide and I lost the 10 pounds in five weeks. It, wow. it just went. And it, I found everything you've just described, you know, like I was full earlier. I wasn't eating as much, but I wasn't called to eat as much. I wasn't feeling the hunger. But the wonderful thing that I found also, it wasn't my energy still stayed the same. I didn't feel like my energy waned or anything like that. Um, I did have that slight nausea, which can be a side effect, but only for the first two weeks, but it was nothing for me as an individual, it was nothing that impacted my day. And I did get a little bit of constipation, but, you know, I, I dealt that with, with, um, some teas, which really helped me. Um, so I, I was like, the thing to remember though, is, you know, I I went back to eating clean underneath this. Yeah. You know, I was on the semaglutide, but I went back to, you know, I wasn't eating the, the sweet treats, um, you know, that I was eating while I was on holiday. So, you know, it is also about changing those habits and addressing what you are actually eating. It's a great kickstart. And, it, and you know, I lost the weight I wanted to. Yeah. Well, and, and did it make it easier to get off the treats? So easy. <laughs> I didn't, and I truly did not miss them. Yeah. And that's, that's one of the great things. And I, you know, I noticed that the, the effects long outlast, uh, you know, the semaglutide when you get off of it, you know, you, yeah. you continually, you're just like you, the craving's gone. And so it, it's not something we want our patients, most of our patients on long-term, this is like a short-term kickstart because, you know, if you're using it in the long run, some of the, the risks that you have, like Andy mentioned, when you're delaying gastric emptying, that can pose other issues. Um, as far as like SIBO goes and, uh, you know, lack of protein digestion. So make sure you're taking enzymes with this. That's one of the reasons why you can get nauseated. 
Um, and this is where cell core is really helpful using your cell core with semaglutide. And then a lot of patients have been prescribed uh, semaglutide by their, their primary care physician. And they're using the full dose of you know, 0.25 um, milligrams every single uh, um, week. And, and that's just too high for most people. And so you know, make sure you're working with your physician on the dosing. We like to do more of a micro dose of it. And we found that you still get the same benefits as long as you're, you have the lifestyle things in place with far fewer side effects. So, so semaglutide is one of the, uh, you know, it's an exciting peptide. It works on the heart, the brain, the pancreas, the GI tract, and the liver. So this is one when we see like uh, pre-diabetes, diabetes, diabetes um, we want to get our patients on this very quickly. I, I spoke to one of our patients yesterday and we've got him on just a microdose of this and his insulin aliquots have been cut down by 50% in six weeks of being on it. So his, uh, his endocrinologist is really excited and uh, he's excited too. So, so semaglutide, there's that's a, a peptide that for those of you who are looking for kind of a jump start, um, it can be really helpful.